Hello and welcome to my tutorial for ArtRidge Studio Pro. Uh, I was recently asked over at the ArtRidge forums how to use my perspective lines preset that I created for the sticker spray tool. I'm going to assume that anybody who's watching this video already has a basic understanding of how to use one, two, and three point perspective. Uh, and I'm really only going to be covering how to use the perspective line preset itself to kind of help you along the way. Uh, so to get started, I'm just going to use my pencil tool to uh, plot out my horizon and mark off a couple spots for my uh, vanishing points. Alright, so in this case I'll be using two-point perspective. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create another layer to work on. And at this point, uh, I should instruct you how to get to a precise cursor, because uh, you're going to need it to make sure that you're directly over these vanishing points when you're plotting out the uh, positioning for the sticker. So what you want to do is go up to Edit, and you want to go to Art Ridge Preferences, and under Cursors, you'll find the Precise option. You just go ahead and click on the Precise option. Click OK, and you'll have your Precise Cursor selected. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, select my Sticker Spray Tool, and under Presets, I'm going to go ahead and locate my uh, Perspective Lines preset. Uh, if you don't already have that downloaded, uh, it's for free. You know, you just go to ArtRidge and you can find it there. Uh, I'll probably provide a link here on YouTube for you. And you can just click on that and it should bring you right to it. Okay, so using my Perspective Line preset, I'm going to go ahead and position my cursor directly over one of my vanishing points. And I'm going to click and hold down the mouse button or the pen you know, whichever you're using. Uh, and you just hold it down, and it starts plotting out the lines for you. Okay, so once you're happy with the amount of lines you have, you just let go, and now you have a vanishing point, okay, and your guidelines for it. I'm going to go ahead and create another layer here, select a different color, and do the same for my second vanishing point. Okay, so now I have my two different vanishing points plotted out for me and that of course makes a grid on my screen for me to work off of. Alright, so I'm just going to create another layer to work off of and I'm going to use the ink pen so you can see it pretty well. Uh, and I'll just do a quick example here. You know, you, what you want to do is just find a convergence point between those two lines on the grid. Okay, and you just start working off of it. Obviously you want to follow the lines as well as you can. Uh, in some cases you might not have a line exactly to, to follow. So for instance if I draw this line up you'll notice I don't have a line for this corner to follow back down to my uh, purple side vanishing point. But since it's between this line and this line I can guess and say you know it's got to be somewhere in between those two lines down here. Alright, so if I were to just follow that all the way down to the vanishing point, okay, that line's going to be between the other two, obviously. Alright, so it's not really rocket science. It's a pretty simple concept. And that just kind of helps you along the way. It'll keep you kind of focused while you're working. You know, even if you're just doing something quick and uh, keeps you from having to fumble around with the rulers you know some people don't seem to take too well to them for some reason personally I like the rulers uh, they're great for when I need to do something precise in perspective uh, so again this is mainly just another option for you to work with alright so there you have it three cubes in a two-point perspective Okay, uh, I hope it helps. Good luck.